So what is the relationship between connective tissue diseases and cardiovascular disease? There's a number of what are sometimes called connective tissue diseases, and some might instead consider them, you know, autoimmune or inflammatory diseases, diseases where, you know, systemic inflammation is present, that inflammation isn't just, for example, present in the joints, as in rheumatoid arthritis or, say, in gout, but it spills out. And I think it's long been recognized, and increasingly more so over the last decade, that many of our diseases, rheumatoid arthritis, gout, lupus, have pretty adverse cardiovascular profiles. People in RA have about a 50% increase in the risk for cardiovascular events and even a higher risk for death if they have one. And it's probably the, the bad effects of inflammation on the entire vasculature, including the heart, as well as some of the medicines that we use that puts people at increased risk. And so you're presenting at CCR East. Can you talk about your presentation and what you consider to be the most interesting point from it or finding or yeah, basically whatever you want to uh, say about it. Certainly. So the first part of what I think is important for rheumatologists to recognize is, is that there's an increased risk of cardiovascular events, both related to the disease itself. We've known that for quite some time. But there's also the, the likely expectation that if we can get those diseases under good control, that there's probably a beneficial effect on the cardiovascular system and cardiovascular risk in terms of events like a heart attack or a stroke. In fact, as I'm talking to patients about this, it's one of the, quote, good side effects that I might offer, that, hey, if we start you on certain therapies, if we could get your disease into remission or near close to remission, probably there, there's going to be a favorable and beneficial effect on the heart. And I think that's a really encouraging message. Patients are used to hearing a lot and from both us and perhaps from television ads, you know, about bad things that our drugs can do. But on the upside, not only will they feel better, but there probably are really favorable effects on the heart. And I think, you know, that's a very encouraging message for patients to hear after you've already told them that, you know, hey, there's an increased risk just because you have this disease. But on the flip side, if we get it under good control, then probably we can make most of that go away, in fact. 